Hi, Leo. It's Brenda. We are doing your April monthly message. We will see what you need to know today. We are using the Secrets of the Ancestors Oracle by Abuela Abrams. We are also going to do an extended for this video. You have to hit the join button to get the extended portion of the videos, and that gives you access to all 12 of the extended videos. So if you would like clarification and other guidance, please um, hit the join button and you will get to see the extended for further clarification if this message is for you. Um, please note it could be for your sign, moon, rising, um, or your north node. And just take whatever message resonates and leave the rest. Um, so we are going to get into the general message of what does Leo need to know for the month of April? Okay, Leo, we feel like that's definitely your energy there. The father of fire, which is passion ignited. Then you get the patriarch, which is unapologetic, which is the emperor energy. And then you get the creature of air, which is speed, which is the knight of swords, which is really the quickest moving energy in the deck. And the bottom of the deck is the twins, conscious connection, which is the lover's card. And it is the twins in this deck. So, um, Leo, are you bringing passion into your life? Are you wanting to become a father? Um that news we feel may be coming in really quick for you. Maybe you weren't expecting this news. Um, maybe it's a new relationship that just started that was a very passionate thing that's now moving this relationship into a different kind of a relationship for you. Um, into that, you know, patriarch, patriarch energy of, you know, being the father. can also be about you stepping into that energy from being a king into that emperor energy happening really quickly are you up leveling are you you know are you balancing your masculine feminine are you you know up we feel like you're definitely up leveling leo um so that's really great energy we feel and we're going to see what is um currently going on for you so the current energy is temperance which is finding that balance and know that, uh, you know, the angels are with you. Archangel Michael is um, especially with you. We hear at this time and you get the page of wands, which we feel is Archangel Michael's trying to give you messages, send you signs, you know, repeating numbers, synchronicities to get your attention to help draw you towards the path that you're meant to be on. The foundation is the um, wheel of fortune. So it is time for a new cycle for you, Leo. If you've been going through a struggle in the past, just know that things are ready to change and they're going to change quickly for you, Leo. In the recent past is the Four of Wands. And, you know, the Four of Wands can be related to that twin energy. In the past, maybe you've met this person or another person that was a catalyst that, you know, and I feel like catalyst because like in this card, it's a tent. So that's like a temporary structure. So Maybe someone you thought was your person in the past, you know, you're now gaining the wisdom of that wasn't my person. That was, you know, a person that was just actually being the catalyst to put me on this path to try to figure out what the heck is going on. You know, as you know, the twin flame can be, you know, something that really pushes people towards their path. The headspace is the queen of swords. So that's definitely about gaining clarity. And knowing what you want, know which direction you want to take, gain, you know, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be in five years? Where do you want to be in 10 years? You know, do you want, you know, you know, what, what path do you want to be on? Do you want to be in a place where you're living in a place that you love, you know, doing the thing that ignites your passion, that brings you the most pleasure, um, in the immediate future, we have the Four of Swords, which is about doing the healing work of the heart. You know, sometimes we have to look back at the past and gain the wisdom of that to heal that energy. And once you've gained the wisdom from it, you heal that past. So I feel like Archangel Michael is with you right now trying to help you do that healing work, gaining the clarity of that situation from the past to push you towards the person that you're meant to be with 
long term for the future. Current environment, the two of swords. Sometimes we're just too. We can't see the forest for the trees. We just don't want to look at what the actual situation is of what the lesson is. And we feel like it's saying right now, you're not seeing what this lesson is trying to show you. And if you would take a step back, that you could see it from a higher perspective. And once that clarity comes in, it's going to up level you really quickly. Um, how other people see you, the Six of Swords, they see you're doing really well. They think you're doing phenomenal. Um, they, they also can see the struggle here. You know, I feel like they're turning their back, trying not to see your struggle, but they still, you know, they see you're victorious and you're doing well, you know, that Laura Wheat is there, but they see also that you have that struggle. And, and sometimes they try to not point it out to you, to not trigger you to, you know, are you the, you know, when you go out with your friends, are you the fifth wheel or, you know, do they not say anything? Do they try to make you feel comfortable? Do they, you know, think that, you know, you are doing great on your own and really seeing your accolades. And I don't feel like you see it as they see it. They are seeing in your accolades of what a great person you are. And you feel you do. We feel like you just don't see it, Leo. Um, the current um, hopes and fears card is the ace of swords, which is new clarity. But it can also be a rabbit hole when, you know, when you get negative thoughts in your head, do you just spiral, you know, on a negative situation? And does it take you down without even you realizing it, that you're, you know, taking it out on other people or not shining your light as brightly as you could be? And the outcome card is the nine of wands, which is being the beacon. That is the Wounded Warrior card. You know, the Wounded Warrior, that card, they have been through hell. They've done all the action. They are at the end of the cycle. Nines are the end of the cycle. It is time for something new. It is time, as you've been being the beacon, to level up to that higher, you know, love, that twin flame energy that's trying to come in. The Ten of Swords is letting go of those negative thoughts of yourself, leveling up, meditating, gaining the clarity, the levers, you know that connection you've planted the seeds for them are you ready to step into it because we get the star it's trying to heal you we feel like there's a new person that's trying to come in to take you to this new level if it's not a person it's a new career a new action a new path something that's going to really ignite your passion and really want you to to, to level you up, something that's going to change your life, you know, from that king of wands into the, you know, into that just wanting passion to wanting to be, you know, that, that emperor, that father, that, you know, husband, that leader, that, you know, that leader. Are you ready to be the leader? Are you ready to step in? Because you need to step in. It's time. It's, it's <laughs> at not stepping in is about your personal karma. It's the karma you brought into this life. And it's the karma you accumulate daily. And you get the card of ask your angels. Your angels are always with you. Um, and the card of manifesting. Everything I desire flows to me when I line up my energy. And that's absolutely true. When you know you are emperor energy, you know what? Everybody else knows it too. It's about growing your self-love, growing your connection. When you love yourself, somebody else is going to love you so much. If you're not getting love reflected back to you, you need to look at how is your self-love because that's what needs healed. Your heart needs healed right now, Leo. Um, that is the um, end of the general reading.